Yo dudes, how you doing? Another wonderful Monkey London car review. We're here today with my main man George. What's up George? All right. He's got a 300 wheel horsepower Mazda MX-5 or Miata as you guys call them in the States. Uh, it's not your normal MX-5 because it's running a Saab engine. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a 2.3 litre uh, Saab aero engine. Uh, it's fully dry Saab, it's been fully built. Uh, and I think it's, there's only two in the UK. It's real, super, super one. rare. Super rare, yeah. So and it's all, and your and you, your, your dad pretty much helped you do the conversion. He said he was like a Saab specialist so, himself. Yeah, dad uh, runs a Saab company. Uh, I was gonna do the sort of normal turbo conversion. Turbo um, on the one six or the one eight. Turbo the one eight, and then we sort of thought, well, we can make this a bit more interesting, do something a bit different. So yeah. uh, we kind of looked into it and thought, yeah, why won't this uh, work? Fuck so it. And, we, and what did you pay for the engine? So the engine is well, it's a bit of a weird uh, situation. How this is basically. We've paid nothing for this. You managed to get it for free? We've done this, well, everything on the car uh, has been, we haven't paid anything for because this is like a prototype car and uh, we're hoping to sell this as like a conversion. Uh, and engine. you sort of custom built it so along the way and tried to improve it. All this has been built, so now we know how it works. It's just a case of uh, sticking it in someone else's car and doing the same again. Yeah, it's but, cool, man. So, but it's probably about, like, all in labour and parts, probably about 6K. It's quite unique because people either turbo the stock lump, yeah. they go SR20 is a popular conversion SR, yeah. relatively. Supercharged turbo are like the two common. And in the States they're quite often they put LS's in them. Yeah, LS's is, they're great, but I just like turbos are just so much Yeah fun. man, you love all the flutter so, noises. Yeah, it's just, I don't think you can beat a turbo, like no. an LS lump is great, but... It's a bit more of an sort of involving driving experience exactly. if you've got a turbo. You've got to be on your toes, yeah. Yeah, fair play. had the car for? Uh, so it's been about three, four years now. So you had it a long time? Uh, it's been a fairly long time. This is also my daily driver as well. And you're 21 years old? Uh, 21 in two weeks, yeah. Yeah, 21 years old, 300 wheel horsepower in a car that weighs what, 900 kilos? 900 kilos, yeah. How he's still alive, I'm not sure. If I was his age and I had this power, I would have been fucking dead in 10 minutes. Uh, but yeah, so, so it's a, full, a fully equipped drift car. You've got a welded diff. Welded diff, coilovers. My stars? My star coilovers. Which we're saying we're pretty popular with the MX-5. Yeah, they're pretty popular, but we've changed the spring rates on this as well. So we've got 10k springs up front and 8k springs at the rear. Okay, fair play. Uh, just for a bit more stiffness. Uh, we've got mid fan pubs, uh, RX-7, super now, tie rod ends. Uh, got bigger brakes, braided lines all around. Really? Uh, different mask cylinders. Uh, yeah, welded diff, which has been reinforced. Because, uh, you said you were breaking the casing before. Snapped, snapped a couple of casings. Uh, we got a fully custom prop because we made one ourselves and it snapped on the motorway, did about 120. <laughs> That's so that was a bit of an interesting one. Yeah. Uh, so we've had a full custom prop made. Uh, kind of everything's just been custom made, custom exhaust, custom everything. It's near enough, a one-off, but obviously it's, once you once you got it all right and you're happy with it, you can start yeah, developing them and stuff exactly. to the public. I mean, we're at the stage now where it's, it's pretty reliable, like you can get in it and it's fine. Uh, it's now just a case of getting it running at, as we want. Yeah. Uh, so it's getting it back and then getting it running sort of sweet as. And you were saying you're running about 12, 12 psi at the moment, it's, it's, it's just, about, about just under a bar. PSI, just yeah. under a bar, just to kind of keep it nice and steady. It's still pretty quick. And all on um, stock, stock management? All on completely stock. So all we've done is, we've got no land and no maths, so it's just running off a preset. Off the and, preset uh, values. And then, yeah, so eventually I think we're going um, either tune the Saab ECU or put a link uh, G4 get a full, in there. Get a full standalone. Full Standalone. Up the boost pressure a little bit, and you're thinking what, maybe sort of 3, 350, 360 when you're finished? Yeah, the engine itself is sort of five, 600 capable, yeah. so in this probably anything above 350. Just you were sort of saying with the stock engines, when you start running over what, 2, 250? About with, 250 and you start, start melting rods unless yeah. you forge them, which again is then mega money and it's still pretty fortune. unreliable. Yeah. So, and, and this lump is completely stock, you haven't done anything to it? It's uh, so. It's Apart from the dry, you've got the dry sump. We've got a dry sump system. The, the lump itself is stock. We've removed the balancer shafts, rerouted some of the always, and refigured some of the bits and pieces on the block. But uh, it's all fairly standard. I mean, apart from just being sort of built and cleaned, and yeah. it's all balanced. And, but apart from that, it is. And these are of cu custom engine mounts? Custom engine mounts, custom gearbox mounts. Oh, yeah, um, gearbox, you said you're running an Amiga gearbox. We've got an Amiga out of the 3.2 litre V6. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and then. 
You don't really, because they, they used to be quite popular on the old drift scene about 10 years ago. And yeah, you don't really see them so biggest anymore, do you? That's the benefit. You can pick up a box for this for 100 quid. Yeah, peanuts. And they bolt straight onto the side block. They're all made by the same company. And what sort of horsepower can those boxes take? About 350. So probably on the limits to what you want to push. We're, we're getting close, but I think the plan is eventually to uh, put a ZF box, uh, BW box in there if we do uh, mash another gearbox. Yeah, so, cool. Which is another good thing because I like in my chase I got a ZF box and they're, they're fucking 50, 60 yeah, quid to buy and thing. super strong. Cheap as, cheap as fuck. Yeah. They Any drift days? Uh, since it's had the engine in, we haven't done any drift days yet. We've done a load before the engine got the swap got done. Obviously, the, the odd cheeky dug it here and there. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you when John's driving, of course. You, you can't not. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna put a couple of either pod or rocket in days. Yeah. Or, uh, What's it like in the wet? Uh, so <laughs> fucking dangerous. In the wet, it's uh, it's pretty interesting. We've got 25 psi on the rears. Yeah. Uh, running no camber on 195. So nice, nice flat contact. Nice match. flat, as much grip as we can get, and it will sort of it will spin the wheels and fit at about 30 miles an hour <laughs> if you plant the throttle. So yeah, yeah it's it's, it's, uh, it's lively. It, you could say that. You go on the motorway junctions, a little bit of throttle, and it's, it's fucking off. Out. Yeah, yeah, man, that's cool. Is there XX, XXLs? Uh, so XXR 527s, they're 16 inch, no offset. What width? Uh, 8.25. Okay, so still quite still a decent, decent, decent size. Not too bad. For, I mean, they'll run. I want to put some sort of stickier tyres on the rig. Yeah. I need them, but I can't fit them on under the arches at the moment. At, at the so moment, they're all just standard arches, just with a bit of lip. Standard work. arches, just rolled out. Yeah. So you, have, you haven't done any sort of. Not, 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 not crazy. Yeah. I mean, we're planning to, to properly wide arches, metal wide arches, all yeah. going on. What's the, like 0 to 60 on this? If you can get the power down, what do you think? Four seconds? Uh, Four and a half yeah, seconds? Yeah, probably ar around that. If you can get the rear wheels to stick, it's probably ain't far off. Yeah, George was saying he was, uh, well, his mate was racing. George wasn't obviously racing because George is a, is a legal citizen. Uh, but yeah, he was racing a couple of guys in Porsches, Aston Martins, and yeah, he was pulling away from them on the motorway, yeah, which is pretty you, cool. Yeah, when you hit boost, yeah. it, it's quite an interesting. You must think, what the fuck have you got under that when you pull away from them? People don't expect, they look at the wing on the back and they just think, oh, think it's you're just a, a fucking shit <laughs> And then you pull away and you just annihilate everyone, yeah, so it's man. great. Boards, yeah, a bit yeah, of BGW. Yeah. <laughs> Use some putting your shopping on. Yeah. on open boot, so. No, it looks good, man. It's uh, actually usable. Uh, a lot of people were like, Oh, it, it doesn't do anything. Why have you put it on that? When you're doing like 80 miles an hour and you plant your foot, you can actually feel the foot pushing, pushing it down. Yeah, down. So, yeah. high speed, it job. actually does something, but it also looks fucking cool. So, have you always, always been into Japanese cars? Uh, what kind of cars did you have before this? I've had so I've, I had a Sit Ibiza. Like first, first car? Yeah, first cheap, car. Cheap insurance? Cheap as anything. <laughs> um, and then I had a Polo which I lowered on wheels and exhaust. And then I had a Mark 1 uh, which was so rusty. Which is pop-up pop uh, pop pop headlights. headlights. Yeah, sort of the traditional old school. Uh, and then sold that because it was so rusty and then bought this and I've had this ever since. Really? It's nice that you've had it for so long. I was terrible at sort of when I was a bit younger. I couldn't stop changing. I used to change my cars like fucking underpants. Yeah, I've. Uh, it's got quite nice that you've sort of stuck with it and sort of not moved on to something yeah, different. Yeah, I've, I've thought many, many times. I've thought, oh, I should sell it and buy something else. And then it's kind of that stage where you're going to invest a load of money that you probably aren't going to get back. No. So. But I think you've built something quite unique here. I mean, I've certainly I haven't seen another one ever no. before with a Saab engine. I'm not massive on my MX-5s, so I've actually I've only driven a few of them before. Right. Certainly not with this kind of horsepower. Yeah. How, how do you find the chassis? Because obviously they're quite short wheelbase. So they're they quite snappy. They are quite snappy. They're, they're quite a challenge to skin. But yeah, I've heard that they're quite quite sort of tricky. Yeah, no, they are. It, 
once you get it, it's all right. But if you can get in a beaver in it, it's fairly easy. So yeah. For so long, you can kind of just sit there and it does most of the work for you. But you've got to really be on your game in this. Yeah. But it does make your reaction time's obviously got to be pretty, you've pretty got to be up spot there. On. Yeah. You know, it does make it that little bit more interesting when yeah. you're drifting. You've actually got to be working. But it's not just fucking obtrusive, it's not stupid. No, it's not crazy. So, do you use this as a daily or do you, have you got another car you sort of pop is, around this? This is my daily. It's your main so car. It's my main car. Uh, I drive it to uni and back every day. So 25 miles a day to Chichester and back. What do the other students think of you? They can't uh, all be driving 300 horsepower. <laughs> so you, you get a few different views from other people. Either it's fucking stupid. Or they fucking or love it. It's fucking sick. Yeah. And, George, can I have a go? Uh, yeah. <laughs> have you seen my previous videos? I have seen some of your previous videos. Are you still going to say yes? Uh, I am going to let you drive it. Uh, Just stopped off to let our t-shirts breathe. They're getting a bit hot inside. Let's have a quick look under the engine bay. There she lies. TDO4. It's quite, it's very neatly done, isn't it? Yeah, we tried to keep it. I didn't know it wasn't supposed to be in there. It looks fairly sort of Relatively OEM, yeah, man. That's what we tried to get into it. It's, you know, running really nicely. Yeah. It works quite well, so. Yeah, stock manifold. Yeah. yeah. It's really neatly done, man. Yeah. It's yeah. probably one of the benefits of having a dad that does Saab tuning. It's yeah, if you're watching this, George Dads, I think you're a legend. <laughs> Lucky London's first experience in a turbocharged MX-5. Yes. Yeah, it's 
I've driven them because I buy and sell cars, but until you actually drive one, yeah. you don't really sort of realise what it's all about. The thing is, you drive a standard one, and, and I can understand why yeah. people might hate on it. They seem a bit gutless. But once you kind of start doing the odd bits and pieces, it, it's a completely different animal. Yeah. And what, what clutch are you running? Uh, so it's a paddle, a, a Saab Vigan paddle clutch, T40 okay. mil. Uh, stage one sprung, uh, sprung yeah. It feels pretty user friendly. Yeah, it's not it's not that bad actually. No, it's not on and off. No, it's it's not too bad. A uh, very very enjoyable experience. I give us a monkey London ten out of ten. <laughs> Cheers. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Massive thanks to George for trusting me and John to drive his little monster. Uh, but yeah, really, really enjoyable experience. I've never driven a 300 horsepower MX-5, so that's one to tick off the bucket list. <laughs> um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give us a like, plenty of comments in the comment section, and we'll see you all soon. Peace. Bye.